In Convertry, you can now use our Tree View feature to easily see a clear overview of all of your elements on the page. You can also use the Tree View to easily find covered elements and see which elements are shown on desktop or mobile, so you'll never lose an element again. To use the Tree View, in the Page Editor, click on Display from the top toolbar. Then click the toggle Element Tree so it is turned on. This will open up the element tree. You can now begin to use the element tree. Here you will see a list of the elements on your page. Each element is grouped according to the element that they are contained by. This means that if you have a panel containing a variety of other elements, when you first open the element tree, only the panel will be visible. You can use the drop down icon for each top level element to open up the element and see which elements are contained within it. Once the drop down has been opened, the elements are displayed in order of appearance. To select an element, you can simply click on it so that it highlights blue. This will select the element not only in the elements tree, but also on the page canvas as well. Selecting elements from the tree view is a great way to select elements on the page that might be covered up by other elements and are therefore not visible. Instead of moving each element out of the way, you can use the element tree to select any element on the page, no matter where it is positioned or what size it is. Selecting an element in the elements tree also means you can access its element properties if there is anything relating to the element that you wish to change. Each element is equipped with three icons. There is a visible or hidden icon which looks like an eye, the show on desktop icon which looks like a desktop or computer, and the show on mobile which looks like a mobile phone. You can use these icons in the elements tree to change the settings of the elements on the page. For example, Let's take this text element that we are currently selected. Currently it's set to start visible. If I want to change this, all I need to do is click on the eye icon in the elements tree so that it has the strike through and you'll then see that it's been changed to start hidden. I can turn this back the other way just by clicking on the icon again and now it's set to start visible once more. This is the same for the show on desktop icon. If you click that, it will change the setting so that you can see it is now not shown on desktop. If I click it again once it has already been struck through, the element will reappear as it is now set to show on desktop. The same is also said for the show on mobile. Currently, the element is set to show on mobile. When I click the icon in the element tree, the strike through appears and as you can see the element is now set to start hidden on mobile. So there you have an overview of our new elements tree feature.